Test 5. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. What did the boy's uncle buy him for Christmas? Hi, James. I haven't seen you since Christmas. Did you get any clothes for Christmas? Yes, my uncle came down to stay with us and he bought me these new shoes. They look really nice. Did he get you that hat as well? No, my dad gave me that hat with some gloves, but my uncle did get me this expensive t-shirt. They go well with those jeans of yours. I need to get some new jeans. I think there is a sale in the shopping centre. Now listen again. Hi, James. I haven't seen you since Christmas. Did you get any clothes for Christmas? Yes, my uncle came down to stay with us and he bought me these new shoes. They look really nice. Did he get you that hat as well? No, my dad gave me that hat with some gloves, but my uncle did get me this expensive t-shirt. They go well with those jeans of yours. I need to get some new jeans. I think there is a sale in the shopping centre. Two. What job does Michelle's father do? Hi, Michelle. I haven't seen your dad for a long time. How is he? Is he still driving a taxi for people going to the airport? Actually, he's taking a break from it at the moment and is doing some hours at the local garage. That's what my dad used to do when he was younger. Didn't he become the manager of a shop in the city centre? That's right. He's the sales manager at the department store next to the post office. Now listen again. Hi, Michelle. I haven't seen your dad for a long time. How is he? Is he still driving a taxi for people going to the airport? Actually, he's taking a break from it at the moment and is doing some hours at the local garage. That's what my dad used to do when he was younger. Didn't he become the manager of a shop in the city centre? That's right. He's the sales manager at the department store next to the post office. Three. How will Steve get to school tomorrow? Hi, Steve. I heard that your sister had her first driving test yesterday, didn't she? That's right. She didn't pass, though. She had practiced for over three months. It's a great shame she could have taken me to school every day, but I guess I'll have to get used to going by bus. Don't worry. We'll give you a lift tomorrow. We drive by your house anyway. If it's not too much trouble, that'll be great. I'm actually getting tired of the bus and I won't have to get up very early. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. I heard that your sister had her first driving test yesterday, didn't she? That's right. She didn't pass, though. She had practiced for over three months. It's a great shame she could have taken me to school every day, but I guess I'll have to get used to going by bus. Don't worry. We'll give you a lift tomorrow. We drive by your house anyway. If it's not too much trouble, that'll be great. I'm actually getting tired of the bus and I won't have to get up very early. Four. What will the weather be like on Saturday? And now the weather for the next three days. Tomorrow, storms will continue across most of the country, except for the southeast, which will see some improvement in the evening. On Friday, winds will drop a lot, although rain will still cover most of the country and will become less heavy by the evening. Overnight on Friday, all the storm clouds will disappear, bringing clear and bright skies for the weekend in most areas. Perfect weather to enjoy the outdoors with your family and friends. Now listen again. And now the weather for the next three days. Tomorrow, storms will continue across most of the country, except for the southeast, which will see some improvement in the evening. On Friday, winds will drop a lot, although rain will still cover most of the country and will become less heavy by the evening. Overnight on Friday, 
all the storm clouds will disappear, bringing clear and bright skies for the weekend in most areas. Perfect weather to enjoy the outdoors with your family and friends. Five. Who robbed the bank? Police were called to a bank in the centre of town when a man stole a lot of money. Customers in the bank said that he had a gun and pointed it at the bank staff. He told them to put the money in his bag. He managed to get away with over two hundred thousand pounds. He is described as being white, six foot tall, with black hair, glasses, and a beard. Anyone who might have any information should contact the police immediately. He is very dangerous and shouldn't be approached. Now listen again. Police were called to a bank in the centre of town when a man stole a lot of money. Customers in the bank said that he had a gun and pointed it at the bank staff. He told them to put the money in his bag. He managed to get away with over two hundred thousand pounds. He is described as being white, six foot tall, with black hair, glasses, and a beard. Anyone who might have any information should contact the police immediately. He is very dangerous and shouldn't be approached. Six. What will the woman do last? John, where are you going? Don't forget you promised to cook dinner for us today. Me? I never promised to do that. You must have imagined it. Yes, you did. You said you would cook dinner after we had breakfast with the kids this morning. But before that, you can all help me in the garden. Shall I wash up first? No, I'll take care of the dishes when we've eaten. Okay then. Let's get started outside. The grass needs cutting. Now listen again. John, where are you going? Don't forget you promised to cook dinner for us today. Me? I never promised to do that. You must have imagined it. Yes, you did. You said you would cook dinner after we had breakfast with the kids this morning. But before that, you can all help me in the garden. Shall I wash up first? No, I'll take care of the dishes when we've eaten. Okay then. Let's get started outside. The grass needs cutting. Seven. What does the man want to do at the weekend? Look at this advert for outdoor activities at the weekend. The climbing looks very interesting. Dad, I don't think anyone in this family is in shape for such an activity. Why don't we go sail along the coast instead? It'll be warmer there. But we've done that before. I would like us to try something else. So, what else do you suggest? Oh, I know. There's a beginners course every Saturday at the mountain ski school. I will give them a call to book three places for us on the course. Now listen again. Look at this advert for outdoor activities at the weekend. The climbing looks very interesting. Dad, I don't think anyone in this family is in shape for such an activity. Why don't we go sail along the coast instead? It'll be warmer there. But we've done that before. I would like us to try something else. So, what else do you suggest? Oh, I know. There's a beginners course every Saturday at the mountain ski school. I will give them a call to book three places for us on the course. That is the end of part one.